Hello everyone. Um, today I'm coming to you with this video. It's um, how I, somebody has asked me um, how I did the ribbons. I've showed them on a previous video. And I'm talking about these ribbons here. This is on a black fabric. I'll hold it up. They're pretty much all the same, just cut different lengths. That's about it. So yeah, I'm coming on with this. And um, I'm going to be doing a little experiment on this video as well too. So I don't know exactly how it's going to come out. And I started right here. Let me put the top on this. I started right here on this pink type of organza. Now these are um, or like a chiffon material. These are like um, cuts from from real dresses. So this is the hemming of a dress. These are parts of a dress. This is the hemming of a dress as well too. And they're beautiful shiny fabrics, boho-ish. Um, I'm really liking that style right now. My experiment is this. I paste, I glued with, um, I used, you know what I used is the um, napkin glue. Now I could have used the fabric glue as well too, but I wanted to try this for the reason that it's a very soft, almost transparent, like you can hardly feel this glue when you use it with napkins. Um, you can tell, you know, it's very, it's a very light um, glue. So that's what I wanted to try here. And it did work. In some places I had to go and glue it down better using another glue, but most of it is this glue here. And it gave it a beautiful kind of texture. Now the style of these are going to always be a boho-ish, but in the future I am going to be doing another um, video, even if I have to experiment on the video, but I want to do these type of ribbons in a shabby chic style. So stay tuned for that type of video. So what I did here, this could be part of my series of on the couch crafts. Um, naturally this step would be, you know, it'd be better if you do it in your art room. And what I did was I got this plastic tray that we get sweets on these plastic trays here. And um, I covered it up with some tissue paper from a shoe box. And if I want to, and I'll continue using this tissue paper as well too. Actually, I put it on here on purpose. It'll pick up a little bit of the colors that I use now. Very little though, because there's very little space in between. But something to look out for. You can do two jobs in one, you know, start coloring a beautiful tissue paper to, you know, for a future project. And then I taped these pieces all down on the side so that way they're nice and firm. Now we're going to be doing the painting here. What I, what you can do on the couch is grab all your stickles and your dimensional paints and put them in, you know, a little card or a little cupcake tin or a little basket and it's something that you can play around with on the couch as well too because it's on this plastic tray. It would be very easy to, you know, um, design on it after because as you can see on mine, the last thing that I did was put dimensional paints on these ribbons as well too. So that's something that you can do on your couch while watching a nice movie or watching videos. So how I start these are with stencils. So what you're going to need for this um, for this is you're gonna I'm using this little tray as a palette um, I have some stencils of small you know kind of designs it's useless that you get big bold stencils for something like this you need little designs I even have these ones which are my favorite for you know little especially little ATCs and things like that this is perfect um, I have a whole bunch of because this material is like this I grabbed all my um, metallics, my dazzling metallics from DecoArt and I have even a couple of silks as well too, just colors that I don't have in the dazzles so um, just to you know fill in with the colors but I have lots of colors here. I've already picked out the colors that I want to use. On this pink and black one I'll be using um, these three colors here, Silver Sage, um, moss pearl and an oyster pearl. I might be adding something, a, pink, a darker pink on that. For this one I'm using um, berry and peacock pearl and I'm putting in a mint pearl with that as well too or a gold. 
with these two I'll be using these four colors here so I have um, ice blue I have royal ruby beautiful color I have teal and I have an emperor's gold okay like I said I could be adding something more if I want to you know add some colors now the silks instead is a coral 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 berry and pink azalea and um, oh, oh okay I got this ready for you guys because a lot of you people are telling me that your silks are drying out and the same thing is happening to me I'm spurts I'm putting some water in them even if they're three quarters full I've been covering up covering them up with water and it's recommended that you use distilled water but this is one that's you know kind of empty and I just added some water in here and you have yourself even like I'm gonna leave this like this and let it dry up again but you have yourself I've added some water I can put some more and you have yourself some watercolor see so you can use it to the last drop or if a lot of it in there has dried up like the bottom don't throw it away open the cap let it dry out completely and use them like you would use an h2o beautiful colors the color is there the pigment is still there it just needs to be reactivated so i'll put this aside right now so that way that will dry okay so let's start with these two here so that way i get the biggest ones so this is fun because you're painting them you're not going to be moving anything off of this board here everything is nice firmly with the with the tape so it won't be moving around okay i think i'm putting these paints too close together i don't want them to mix once i have the colors on the palette too i see them better and you know i'll couple them up better as well too but I think I'm just going to go for the colors I said I was going to use. Make sure you always shake your containers. This is the mint. What is this? Moss pearl. Pretty color. And oh, I will be using these as well too. Wooden stamps. Um, some marking tools as well too actually i have to get my um oh it's a it's a thing that i use as a stencil it's a hot pad that i'm using as a stencil this is already out there one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i'm pathetic one two three four five six seven eight two are missing um which ones are they i put that one I put the mint pearl. Oh dear, the teal. Okay, well, look, for now, that will be just fine. Close the computer up. There we go. And get my heat tool. I can put this over here. And I start off with any type of stencil, anywhere you want. And I'm using the makeup sponges. And just start throwing on some color. I'm going to start with the gold. Now some colors don't expect a big, huge, you know, um, difference in color. See that? I need something to kind of bounce. Oh, I'll go right here. Bounce my paint off of. So no, this one, this color is not really showing up all that great. I'm gonna use this one here. Now this one shows up much better. It help if you keep the stencil still as well too. Now it doesn't really matter how the design's going to come out because 
you're not really going to notice it when these are cut down when they're cut down small if you're planning to leave them you know wide like this for some type of use whatever it may be um yeah you can be careful with the stencil i'm gonna put some on this it's a pretty um beautiful this copper it's actually called ruby but it's gorgeous Yeah, I really want to try shabby chic using laces, using little tiny buttons. Um, I'll put that to, to the side and start with another stencil here. That one there. And what color am I going to use there? About this blue. Right here. You guys seen that? I'll bring them up close later on so that way you can see them from don't worry if it seems bare because you know you can go back and add as much as you please as little as you please you know you can do them any way you please just kind of you know spreading out the color here and there bring it there okay that's enough of that one um i really like this one here that looks really cool i'll probably use another sponge after this, I'm just going to cut the ends off of these sponges. They're not going to go to, you know, any waste at all. Yeah, so what can I say? Dreadful heat here in Sicily, like always. My son went to um, a water park today. It's about two hours and a half away. So yeah, he'll be spending the time. And here, actually, it's a nice windy day if you go outside. It's an, there's a nice breeze, but um, it's only summer. The temperature is always high. But we can't. I can't really complain about this summer up until now because um, I haven't really suffered that much. I hate the heat. I suffer the heat terribly. See how those are coming along right now. Look at that. And imagine them when they're cutting little tiny strips after, you know, you've put dimensional paint on. And like the shabby chic ones, I really want to experiment even sewing or glue gunning the things on. Actually, I should hook up the glue gun. I haven't done this one yet because I'm going to do it all with those light, bright colors. Not light, bright, soft colors, actually. That's what I meant. The bright colors I'm using here. Um... what can i do actually i'm gonna put that away because i still have more to use and oh that's what i wanted to use out of the silks was the black ice because i want since those paints are all kind of you know glimmery i want to use you know colors that i don't have in the cinnamon brown is just beautiful and um let's see where the black ice is right here okay yeah this is one that i would like to use I'm going to grab a palette knife and just put it, where can I put these? Okay. No paint goes to waste if I can help it. Okay top off and <clears throat> right there right there so what have you guys all been up to I see lots of pictures on Facebook of you know 
people at the cottage or on the beach. Um, I'm going to add some white on this after too. Or maybe, you know what, a, instead of the white, I just might add um, some silver maybe. Maybe silver. still have a few colors here that I haven't used. Okay. Try another one. Um, I love these ones here. These are from, oh uh, dear, where's the name of this place? Color Box, I think. Artwood Style. Um, memory Box, Memory Box. Mm, I'm going to use some of this cinnamon brown now. I see this one is completely, it's getting there you guys, it's a gorgeous color and actually I haven't been substituting the colors that I have been um, using up with this type of silks, I've been buying the primary elements and with that powder you can do whatever you want, you can mix it with um, you can mix it with water, you can mix it with glaze, you can mix it with um, modeling paste so with that one product I can get the same color and you know do whatever I want with it and it won't go dry so that's um, pretty good about the primary elements and you know the, the colors come out almost exactly the same Put that there It might seem like a lot that I'm doing on these, but like I said, remember that they're, they're going to be cut down after. Here. This is a beautiful color. I love this color. Here. some here hey daddy today my lunch is already ready because here the boys come home for lunch and um, you know here it's that thing that they have here about you know coming home and um, resting for a bit the stores will close um, from like 1.30 to um, summertime, they open up later, 4.35. And um, my husband, yeah, he rests while he's here. Sometimes they leave right away because, you know, they have other things to do. And um, put the black away. Now, what I wanted to use for this one here, for now I'm going to stop here. I'm going to start letting them dry just a bit and get um, some more sponges and I want to work on this one here so I have this I think it's a soft a moss pearl color and I'm going to use which one am I going to use I'm going to use this one here no better not let me get these stencils here. There's the chevron one that I love. This one here. We're going to try this on the pink. See what this is my experiment here. See how it's going to come out. And, um, you know, try something new. I don't know if anybody's done this yet because I really didn't check on YouTube, but um, just trying it out. You know, it could not work out, could be too stiff, it could be, some more 
here. I should turn it like that. Yeah, kind of liking that. Then I got little polka dots which are adorable. I can use the polka dots. I can use this one here. Now it's it's I I'm liking it a lot right now. At the end I'll add white to everything. What I would like here is oh I still have that oyster color to use. It would be it would be mint pearl that I still have here on the table. Let's use this color up just while we're at it. You can just keep on going until you run out of paint here on the table, like just not to throw it out, you guys. Oh, I like that. Doesn't that look cool? Like the same stencil done in two colors. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Like something like this one here, the pink one, you might be thinking of, you know, using it alone, like without cutting it at all. And just using it at the edge of a cover of um, a journal, anything really. Here, try to get the corners as much as possible because you can be, you know, using the up until, try to get up until the furthest edge you can. Some of it's covered with tape, but it's okay. Okay, now white, well I still have that one there and I still have lots of black too. I'm gonna have to use that up in another kind of a thing. Um, the black I'll have to use up someplace else. Let's see here. You know. Oh, I just mixed here. Let's see how this comes out now. Yep, it's what I wanted. I'm really digging this style right now. Um, I saw this really cool um, video, Mark Montana. He uses rag carpets for cushions and I thought that those are so stinking cute that I would love to, you know, do patio chair. My, I have these beautiful patio chairs in wood that I would love to do that type of cushion for and it's really easy and quick and really nice. Love it. Colorful, especially. You know, the rag quilts that have so many colors in them. Watch the video. Now my colors here on my palette are mixing a bit, but I don't care. That's okay. So now I have to figure out, you guys, the white. I have white oyster, I think, in silks, but I don't know if it's going to show up on on here. We can try it. I hope so. So, I would love to clear off a space here with a baby wipe. There we go. Get my little palette. Make sure it's clean before you put it in the white paint. probably ruin the whole thing. Okay, give it a little turn and we'll stick it on here. Now, the reason being that I wanted it here is because I want to use that whatchamathinger that I have. And yeah, I got my hands sturdy. So, I just put it here to the side. 
I'm gonna put the palette knife back in there just for, oh dear, no, that's not a good idea. Okay. Clean that off. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> oh, there's only somebody bugging me. Yeah, my son. I'll call him later. Okay, so I'm looking for that pot holder that has, it's right here. See if I see anything else that I can use. Yes, I do. Okay. So I got some of this. And I'm going to get, I'm going to try brushing it on directly with a brush. Let's see here. Good. So that way, okay, I'm going to have to move this to the side right here. And, you know, the, the thing about this too as well is that um, the it, it dries pretty quickly. there's your white it is showing up we'll have to see though as it dries because some white paints just like kind of pick up the colors of what was there especially silks like they'll they shouldn't do it with each with one another but um it could happen that you know the white silk will pick up the color that's underneath the other silk and it'll kind of turn you know a lighter version of that color it won't be completely white That's, you know, I like how it's looking. Okay. Yeah. Don't worry about, you know, it not, it doesn't, it can't, it doesn't have to come out perfect. Most of my paint just went into the middle there. Let me see if I can get it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, another thing that I wanted to do was, um, I just might put some more black. I'm going to rub it here on the cardboard. So that way I can get, you know, the lightest. I'm still thinking of something else. You know what I'm going to add here on the pink one is gold. Then again, there's always the... Um, just a second, you guys. I have to open the door for my son. Sorry about that. And Dottie gets all excited. She loves when they all come home. I'm really liking this corrugated cardboard. I'm going to show you guys from up close now. It might, like I said, don't worry about it looking like too much here. Because then again, if you want more of a subtle type of design, well, you, you know, do much less than this. Because remember, we're still going to put the dimensional paints on here. Just around. Joey, sto registrando, mamma. Sto registrando. Okay. Let me get a baby wipe for my hands. I'm really liking this. I like it. It's looking for now. Show it to you guys from close. Um, let's see here, there we go. And I still have to work on the pink one. Okay, now I want to hit this really good with gold. A nice gold. So I have the mint pearl, but I'm not crazy about that. I think it will be this one, or let me see what I have in silks. I have a solid gold in silks. So, because I'm noticing that this one's not really showing up all that good. So what I do now 
is I put a nice good bit. I'm just going to pop this on top of here. Nothing's going to happen to it. And I'm going to turn this. This is, I think it's called Solar Gold from um, Silks. And just spread that like that. You see, this is even getting a little bit clumpy too. It happens. It's a very thick paint. So, you know, it's or um, you know, knowing that when you buy it. But like I said, I would, you know, advise you guys to buy um, to buy the the elements, the primary elements, the powder in powder form. You can have them in for years and nothing's going to happen to them. So this is how start adding some gold here and there. And I'm going to do it on this one as well too. These ones have to be washed right away you guys. Don't joke around with if you have these wood stamps. If you don't, you know, use any type of stamp that has a big bold design. I wouldn't, you know, be putting your stamp in, in you know, with small details into paint or, or that. Or you have something right beside you, a little, you know, pail of water um, to, you know, put it um, soaking right away. What I'm going to do to this right now is set it aside and spray some water in it. And then I'll bring it into the bathroom and I will, um, I'll wash it with an old toothbrush. So, you know what, I'm going to use this that I had my sponges in, just to spray it. Okay. Then I have this one that I would like to use a completely different color as well too. Um, or maybe not, you know. I'm looking at it now and thinking that I could always, what about a flower? Instead of that type of design, um, flower with much of a more, there's the leaf that's beautiful and the flower here. See that? And I can, always using up this paint here. I even have um, the turquoise paint here beside me as well too. There you go. See that? Start using up this paint. The one that I showed you was done on a black. Actually, I even have a piece here still. This is without the dimensional paints. And there's much less done on here, but because it was the black as well too, it was, um, you know, it's already a dark color as is. You know, it really helps with these type of um, is having something spongy underneath. And when it was one big piece of fabric, because I've done these fabrics, but they were bigger pieces, I did put something underneath them because I was doing one fabric at a time instead of having, you know, three different fabrics here. Let me see if this is still good. My pink. You know, you just get a light you know, coloration in some places, which is, like I said, perfectly fine because it will get cut up into strips. I'm sorry, you guys, I have to answer this because it's probably him again. So sorry. Rosario. Dime, amore. Oh, okay. Tutta posto. Okay, sai quando mi devi chiamare? Quando stai per partire stasera, okay? Quando stai per partire. Ok, divertiti. Ciao. 
Okay, he called me to tell me that he ate and everything's fine. And I'm the one that nags him to call me all the time. And um, I feel more, you know, I want him to have fun, but I, I, I want to know how he is. That's all. I'm going to have a little drinky poo here, you guys. Mm. Sorry about that. Now, where's my spray bottle? I have to spray on top of that stamp. Here it is. Okay. As long as they're keeping wet, it's fine with me. And then I'll, like I said, take them into the bathroom. So, this is what it looks like so far. I'll show it to you guys up close again. And like, it just looks like a big hot mess. Now. Okay. And... At this point, what I would do is grab some stickles or dimensional paints. Um, yeah. Or, oh dear, look at these. These are really pretty too. I can do like just, they're, they're cheap, you know, glitter pens that I can use as well too. They're like, they would be, I guess, like stickles but a cheaper type of, um, these I bought here in Italy, and I think, I can't remember who makes them, but yeah, look at these. Now these I better start using up as well too. Oh, I have such a mess here. I'm going to try it here. Okay, so with this, I would start like, I'm going to, Brighten up the hearts here. Yeah, I think, I'm thinking, every, I look at this more and more, this one here, and I'm thinking I'm leaving this the way it is and just using it, you know, um, just using it like this hole on something. On something, this will make something look beautiful. Okay. And then there's like, instead of glitter, there's the, um, so these are the stickles, and then there's the perfect pearls, which are these ones here. And I'm just trying them off here to the side, so that way. I'm just going along the edge of this um, lace. make it look like there it already had this on the lace okay and I think I'll just go around these centers of these flowers here with that too there's another one okay and here with perfect pearls you can or you know um, do like squiggly little lines here and there like that and like when it's time to cut them don't worry they just cut perfectly fine oh, doesn't want to come out anymore always have a pin ready when you're working with these oh, that's a needle I don't want a needle a pin and you know help it out There we go. Come on. Be nice to me today. Okay, well, you know what? We'll go on to something else. Um, other colors. Uh, let's see here. Mm, there's this black ice that's really cool here. Um, is it black ice or is it black diamond it's called? And that's stickles. But I think I have um, perfect pearls too. So what I would do here is like start swirls. Oh, isn't that pretty? Little swirls. Oh, 
And I'm not going to do the other one like this because we can do them different. Yes. Make it look like it's coming off the edge there. Small ones in between. How's that looking? Pretty? There we go. Now we can see it. And yet next one. I have something here that won't let me bring the tray over. It's blocking my... Um, yeah, here's the, the liquid pearl. So that was Stickles, which is, oh, amazing. And this is um, the Perfect Pearls instead in black. And the color is Onyx. Onyx Pearl. And it's stuffed up. Why do I have these big needles here? They're in the wrong place because I don't want them getting gunkied up with glue. They're big needles that, you know, you have to thread, you can thread ribbon into. Can't remember what I used them for. Okay, so we have the liquid pearls and we can just do circles. Just circles. They're not perfect circles, but that's okay. We'll do something with the... Naturally, I'm not going to be able to cut them in strips now. Liquid pearls in, um, I have two beautiful colors with liquid pearls actually. I have this one here that's um, a platinum, plat, plat, I can't say that word, platinum pearl. And this one here that's a white opal. So let's get a white opal. Now what else we can do on these is, and it looks really cute, is just, you know, dot little flowers make in a circle and like I said this is really fun in front of the TV you guys I'm just going to show you a couple here because I will continue I like doing these things you know with um, just you know relaxing and, and looking at it carefully and not you know having to be not in that I'm in a hurry but it's always a video and you don't want it too long so something like that, and then you would get, um, you would get like, I'm going to use this ruby steckles here to put a center, to make them look like more like a flower, because if I had this in front of me better, I'd be making them more, and you know how, it takes a long time for stickles to dry, you guys. It does. Unless you get a brush and you brush it over, you brush it out. And that's perfectly fine as well too but if you're doing something like this like it has to be you know more dimensional and you can't you can't help it you just have to wait and that's it the perfect pearls instead they you know seem to dry reasonably um quicker than than the than the, the stickles so i'm just going to put some here on the border Like that. Mm, I can put some here around some petals of the flower. Um, here. Let's see here. Um, I'll finish doing that after. And um, what, what? Just a second here. See? Just, you know, just play. Just play. Like I said, after I'll do this, you know, I'll continue doing it this afternoon. It's when I, you know, sit down and watch something and just relax and have something. Relax, but I want something in my hands. Oh, there's this beautiful liquid pearl here. That's a copper pearl. This is gorgeous. So what can we do with this? What can we do with this? Well, we can do another another circle in the circle here where the black pearl was put like that and watch what you touch while you're doing this this is why you should work on one at a time and um, 
you know you can actually try to move these as well too if you want to once you're done you can lift up the tape and you know delicately put it on something else that you don't have to have on your lap while you're doing the other ones but I've you know I um, have been you know finding this this method really good to to use so I did the little flower there here hmm why don't we add another just a little bit here and there I'm trying to think of where I would love to use this um, I think I'm going to use this one here and just you know just go around you're actually doodling is what you're doing with these you know things here and then um, deco art has their own kind of dimensional paints I think they're called or am I mistaken let me see where they are here they are okay now what I've been using for I have different types actually because I do love playing with these so these are my plaid ones and these are actually for fabric these are the company that um, we have here in Italy, Samparia, which is getting very famous with um, their um, their products, their mixed media line, and they have you know a nice variety of these colors as well too. And these are always dimensional paints. Um, let me see this beautiful green here. Some of them are a bit just too much, like um, squiggly. See that? It doesn't hold like what I found is that they're not as dimensional as I would like so those are those these are the plaid ones which I've had for years you guys like I've literally had these for years it's crazy how long I've had them and they're still doing good I haven't found one dried out yet so that's the plaid, you know, which gives you much more of a dimensional, see that? And then this is, this is actually gloss in, in animals. And sincerely, you guys, I really have to watch a good video on these, um, on how they do work. But they do come out something like the, my Italian brand ones. They come out a bit watery. Actually, this one, this one looks nice. Um, so we'll do other squiggly lines here. See that? And this is Deco Arts gloss enamels. And you know, like, and you can, I can, you know, see these things being used on here. It's just like my plaid ones. Plaid ones, like I said, these are for fabric. It's not for this type of things. But I've done ceramic with these. I've done so. You know, depends on the use of what you're going to do with this naturally you're not going to be washing these so you know there's no worry about you know having that so what i would do at this point is i would continue with my dimensional you know things and playing around and um and when i do that when they dry nicely tonight um i'll cut them up and i'll show them to you in one of my next show and tell videos you know where i'm showing what i've been up to and not necessarily doing um a project video on it so that's what they look like and like I said imagine what they look like when they're all cut so I hope everybody enjoyed this video I hope that you know you give it a try because then the strips like I said you can use them for so many things like I even have you know other jelly print fabrics made that were scraps and I just did them in tiny little pieces and I knot these together beautiful happy mail you know in and then um, you know wrap them around one of you know a little spool that you've made yourself and they look so cute they're they're, they're really nice you know you can close up your journals with this you can use them as decoration in your pages you can try using this for clothing you know on on one of your faces or something like that there's so many possibilities that you can do with these so i hope you all enjoyed this video and um i hope everybody has a great day goodbye <laughs>